Tasty crew, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. It's Webtastic Wednesday. Learn it, live it, love it, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Where friends are found, YouTube comments may they never cease. MySpace is dead, so let it rest in peace. The best of the week, here's where they be. Chosen by yours truly, the name's JB. Shout outs, props, questions for you, all wind up in the new media stew. It's a webtastic entertainment. John based out here with Midnight, but as you can see, we are still lacking an open. Motivational Mondays has an open. That's just Poe Judgment Thursdays has an open. Webtastic Wednesdays, no open. Stu Crew, please get on it. Get me an awesome open for SJB. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, this is the portion of New Media Stu where I respond to your cyber comments and questions. So let's get this party started. Let's go to YouTube. First comment, still naked Bullwinkle. Your videos have more positive charge than a truckload of Energizer batteries during mating season. You know, I never knew that Energizer batteries engaged in intercourse. Where are the sex organs? Thank you, Mr. Moose. Next one comes from X Corpse Music. Great productions and funny as all ding dong heck. Well, bless your ramalama ding dong heart. Next one is Jacko Cloud. You are the dog's bollocks. Ah, uh, Jacko, I thought this was a hater comment until I consulted Google. Dog's bollocks is a British term used to refer to something admired and well respected. So thanks, Jacko, and you are another new viewer, if I'm not mistaken, so you just got chumped. Next one is from Chooch in Cattywampus. You are right, John, about people talking smack. You got to clean your own barn before talking about someone else's pig pen. You guys, stew crew. The verbal imagery, energizer batteries having sex, dogs bullocks, ding dong heck. I got one for you. If you live in a glass house, don't go attacking others before you know the size of their stones. Make sure to use that in a sentence this week. Next one is Tay Tay Kemp. I would say whenever you and Grace do a collaboration, you make the most adorkable combo ever. Somebody saw my adorkable video with the lovable Zoe Deschanel. Something about your awesomeness and her quirky and funny self just combined to make something so adorably dorky, XD, in a good way. Much love and respect, JB. Much love and respect to you too, Tay Tay Camp. And speaking of Miss G. John, what was your first job before you became a YouTube star? Oh, you're so sweet, Christian. I. Uh, I, I, I would say I'm fairly invisible on YouTube, but, um, but you know, working oh, on it, working on it. Please. We're gonna, but uh, my first job, let's see, I would say that was a, um, I was a fitness celebrity, some people tell me. Is fitness celebrity John Besa? I made up a fitness celebrity John Besa. That was pretty much uh, a job appointed by the uh, gods on Mount Olympus, uh, sort of like being knighted. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for Besa, fitness celebrity John Besa. Uh, and then I went straight from um, fitness celebrity uh, into YouTube. I think I just spotted it. And, uh, and, and clawing my way up the YouTube ladder. That's how you gotta do it. It's great. And what would you say would you do? was my your job? first job? My first, I've had numerous jobs, but the job that I had right before I focused solely on YouTube videos was I was a server, waitress is the low brow term for it, I guess, <laughs> at um, a restaurant in New York City called Houston's. It's like a glorified Chili's. We sold ribs. I like Houston's. Yeah, it's really good. I like Houston's. I dropped three plates of ribs on the floor one night, and that kind of stuck in my head of, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. So, yeah, focused on the videos. And it was fun! Dropping ribs. Life changer. Big time. Okay, now, let's go to Twitter. First Twitter is from Hizid. At John Bastow, you should take over for at Ryan Seacrest on the red carpet next year. Make it work. Emmys. From your keystroke to heaven's ears, please guys, feel free. 
tweet the Emmys, and while you're at it, tweet MTV, because I'd love to do the red carpet on their uh, movie awards or the VMAs. I am packed and ready to go. The next guy on Twitter brings it with multiple posts. His name is Space Rock Beats, and ooh, a couple of my favorites. Every time John Bastow yells, a new planet is forming in the cosmos. And another one, I think the boogeyman keeps checking in his closet for John Bastow. New media stew for the win. You meme starter, you. And if I'm not mistaken, you are a new viewer, so you just got chunked. Speaking of memes, Stu Crew member ZOMG Punkins referred me to the Urban Dictionary where it appears they have a definition for John Bastow. A fitness guru who pioneered the Fitness Made Simple plan for simple people. <laughs> he is seen in many infomercials promoting this plan which involved weightlifting at a heart pumping cardio pace without tricky dance moves or high impact gyrations. He never aged past 23. He is also insanely ripped and could kick Chuck Norris's ass. Funny badger don't give a shit. And now, a combination of words I never thought I'd say. Let's go to Daily Booth. We got a Daily Booth comment from Sunset Lover 68 JB, you make me want to be a better person. Thank you for putting a smile on my face, keeping me informed, and most of all, being real. Don't change who you are, because I love what I see, Ange. Ah, it just doesn't get any better than that. So we're going to end it on that note. Thank you so much. Sunset Lover, you awesome, awesome Stu Crew member. And now, Stu Crew, it's time for the award that everyone's been waiting for. You ready for this midnight? The person I'd most love to clone. And today's winner is Space Rock Beats. Space Rock Beats, you're surrounding me right now. It could be none other than you. Starting a meme? Come on, you just don't get any better than that. You are also the winner of this awesome New Media Stew shirt. And guys, continue to post your comments to be the person I'd most love to clone next week. And until I do see you guys next time, much love and respect. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for another helping of New Media Stew. So you gonna do it? You gonna do it? Hmm.